You are now tuned in to Harrison Family Vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I'll be showing you guys how I make my special macaroni pie. You may know it as baked macaroni and cheese, but us from the islands, if you have family from the islands, you know what I'm talking about. This is called macaroni pie, all right? Stay tuned. All right, to, to make, <laughs> to make back big mac, my house isn't on fire. This is the macaroni and cheese already boiled. All right, so to make my big macaroni and cheese, and you can make it any way you want, there's a couple of things you're gonna need. You're gonna need half and half, okay? You're gonna need two eggs, which I have here. You're going to need butter, melted, half a stick if you're using one box of macaroni and cheese, or macaroni, and you're going to need the cheese, okay? I have the cheese here. So what I use in my macaroni and cheese, I use uh, three cheese, which is sort of like two cheese, and I'll explain to you. The first one is mild cheddar. I use mild cheddar. I use uh, mozzarella cheese. I like mozzarella cheese because um, it gives it that like sort of stringy but not like overly cheesy type of texture to it. And then I put sharp cheddar in it as well. Okay, so those are the three types of cheeses I use. And I also have uh, breadcrumbs. This will allow there to be like some nice, um, I wanna say, like crisp, not crisp, like a, a hard type, it's just, it makes it nice and hard on the top. All right? So, and then you're gonna need macaroni, which is right in front of me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix everything in and show you how I mix everything in. I don't have like measurements. I make this all by feel, okay? All by feel. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So what I do is after I melt the butter, I put the butter in first and I like just spread it around that's okay because everything's gonna make, get mixed up. Even if the whole um, the whole pan isn't fully covered, there will be once I mix it in. The next thing I do is I put the eggs in. Before I do that, I like make sure that the eggs are nice and you know mixed. Okay. So I put the eggs in. I just graciously go over the whole thing. And even if it doesn't cover the whole pan, it's fine because it will be mixed in. Okay. It will be mixed in, especially after I put all the, the half and half and the cheese and all that stuff. I will graciously sprinkle the cheese in first. And this gets messy. go after I do that I get the mozzarella cheese put some mozzarella cheese all up in there this is going to come out really 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 good my kids love when I make this so, well I mean love love when I make this Actually, everybody who has tasted it loves when I make it. All right. And then what I do after is I put a little bit of sharp cheddar. And the sharp cheddar gives it that nice sharp cheddary cheese taste. So you notice in this, now you can buy your own cheese. 
and grate them yourself, or you can buy the already grated cheese. Now the challenge with this is, you know, the cheese melts pretty fast because this is a hot thing of macaroni. And, and also, here's a trick to baking make baked macaroni and cheese. Don't boil the the macaroni till it's like really, really, really thick. Try to avoid doing that. So now at this point. I take half and half and I start putting a half and half in till I get the texture that I like. And from here, I repeat the process. Put extra cheese, half and half, cheese and half and half. Some people use milk. I like half and half because it gives me the desired texture that I'm looking for when the baked macaroni and cheese is done. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is perfect for getting you ready for Thanksgiving and the holidays. Especially for those who have made baked macaroni and cheese. And it hasn't come out desirable. Hopefully this video will help you out. Okay. So now I go back and I put more cheese in. And I'll keep putting cheese until I get the, the texture that I want. I just gotta make sure that I have enough cheese to put on the top. Sort of like cheese icing on my pie. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. This is the single dad recipe for baked macaroni and cheese. The thing about this though, if you're a single parent, is that the way I make it, it's expensive. This costs a lot of, I just made a huge mess. This costs a lot of money, like the cheese, the macaroni, everything. Um, you're looking at like, you know, almost, no, the cheese alone, I want to say is, yeah, you're looking at about maybe a $35, $40 price tag here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So now what I do is, I try to lay it out. Like, so like the, the corners is what you also have to look for. You want to make sure that the cheese is spread graciously across. See, now that I do this, I can tell that it may need a little more cheese. I think it's good. Yeah, it's definitely good with the half and half, but I will need to put a little bit more cheese. Maybe a little bit more half and half. Remember, I make this by feel. So there's no particular science. I just make it how I like it. Yeah, I'm not going to put as much as I did before. Just want to make sure I get the corners and the edges. A little bit of the middle. Now the mozzarella. Write down in your comments. Let me know what you think. What do you do when you make baked macaroni and cheese and macaroni pie? Do you use measurements or do you make it by feel? Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Or even if you have any recommendations. Now, also one thing you notice is I don't use any spices. The way I make it, there, there is no need to put like pepper or salt, anything like that. You don't need to because the cheese offer all the flavor you need. You don't have to put anything else. So now that I do this, it looks like I may have to put... No? Yeah, I think the... Yeah, that's perfect. I think the cheese is graciously divided among the whole pan. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat the oven at 350. So now that this is done, I have to now create the icing, the cheese icing is what I, I call it. So now I put a layer of cheese on the top, just like that. Probably like Dre. This is mad cheese. Yeah, you may say so, but it's not. It doesn't taste like it's overly cheesy. You know, it really does taste good. And then I top it off with some sharp cheddar. Sprinkle it around. 
And also the white cheese, the mozzarella cheese, actually makes it look um, more appealing, more appetizing. When it's cooked and it browns a little bit, you'll see exactly what I mean. So now you take the breadcrumbs and you gently just, that is something that you don't want to do. Spread that out. So let it glaze over. Let it glaze over. I don't know if this is called glaze, but sprinkle it over just lightly, just like that. See, people have been telling me, can you make baked mac and cheese for me? Well, now you can watch me in the video and do it yourself. You don't want to put too much. This is absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness gracious. Whew. This is going to come out so good. Now for the finished product. <sighs> if it doesn't look like that, I'm not eating it. <laughs> yes! In Jesus, I pray. Amen. 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 All right, moment of truth. Let's go. And stop ask, thinking about asking about the vegetables. We don't have vegetables. Relax. Well, since you That's said... That's not the baked mac and cheese. Dad. Dad, look. Since you said that he can't ask about that, so I'm going to ask. Mm. He had nothing to ask. Can I enjoy the food without the camera <laughs> in my face, please? So it's good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you like it too? It tastes pretty good. It's the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. It's the same. And the same. All right, they like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it too. See how it is. I know how it is because I made this. <laughs> it's good stuff. Yeah. Humble thyself. Before the Lord, not before my baked mac and cheese. <laughs> but the Lord is always before us. Listen, you know? hey, what? this is the problem with raising kids to be ch Christians. Like, it's because we talk back, but how we talk back <laughs> is the truth. So we can't even get mad. Oh my gosh! Now you guys have the recipe. Yeah, you gave them the recipe? I gave them the recipe. Now you guys have the recipe. Enjoy it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No. Whoa, whoa. Why did you give them the recipe? It's a video I'm posting. Bye, guys. No, that's not Take okay. it. Enjoy. Why? Enjoy it. Okay.